Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to check out the RTX 4070 in Counter-Strike 2, the new version of Counter-Strike. As you can see, I'm pairing the 4070 with the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X and 32 gigabytes of RAM. And as always, I left an Amazon link in the description for the 4070 with the best price in all the internet, the best price, best service. I always recommend Amazon. So if at the end of the video you want to check it out, you have a link in the description. Okay, so as always, I'm going to start playing at 1080p with the most graphically intense settings possible. As you can see, I'm in the very high preset with no Fidelity FX, which is the equivalent of DLSS for AMD. And this should be the best looking possible image we can get out of 1080p. As you can see, we're getting around, wait a minute, I can update, there we go. We're getting around 170, 160 FPS in this area of the game, which is probably the most in intensive in the entire map. So don't judge the whole picture by this. And the high settings on this game are very in um, intensive compared to the high settings in the old Counter-Strike Go. So we should be, oh my God, okay. Well, we're still getting 200 FPS still, even though we are not getting as much as we got on the old game. I think we're not getting enough. You know, this is 1080p Connor Strike, guys. This is not Cyberpunk. This is Connor Strike. We should be getting around 250 FPS at least. Okay, now let's try the low preset. Okay, everything is low, 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 low to try to see if it's... Okay, it looks pretty much identical. I have to say there's not a big difference between Oh, uh, there we go. There's not a big difference between high settings and low settings in this game. Maybe they just add a little bit of quality to the textures, maybe a little bit of resolution. And also FPS count is, the, the FPS count is pretty much the same. Maybe a little bit higher. Let me update it real quick. Maybe a little bit higher. We're getting to the 220s, 230s in this area of the game, but uh, it's still around the 200 mark, 100 low high hundreds low 200s maybe it's because it's a new game or i don't know why but i was expecting honestly i was expecting to get 300 fps at 1080p with this graphics card because it's a 4070 it's a 650 buck graphics card it should be giving us a lot more fps but i don't know i don't know what i should be expecting out of this new game let's remember it, it just came out a couple months ago it's a 2023 game so it's not like the old counter strike it there's a long way to go until it reaches its maximum optimization capabilities. Just to try, let's uh, put Fidelity FX in performance. This is going to look horrible. It's going to look all pixelated and weird. And also probably not going to give us that big of a boost in FPS. As you can see, we're getting like 20 FPS more than we got without uh, Fidelity FX. But I guess if you want the highest number of FPS possible, this is, the, this is a must. This is what you have to do turn on a Fidelity FX, which isn't going to make the game look like it's playing at 420p, but at least, at least you get, well, not even, I was going to say you get over 200 all the time, but as you can see, minimum FPS is at a 184. So not even with 1080p low settings, Fidelity FX and performance, you get 200 above 200 all the time. Okay, now let's play at 1440p. And as I did earlier, we're going to start with the maximum possible settings. And let me update it real quick. Uh, we're getting around 200 FPS. That's actually, that speaks at how poorly optimized the game is because as you can see we're getting about the same FPS we got at 1080p with low settings. So it's, none of these things are making pretty much any difference like we're getting the same fps at 1080p then we got it uh 14 then we get it 1440p doesn't matter if you have high settings or low settings or it barely matters for the for the most part maybe in some areas you get a little bit more fps but for the most part it's pretty identical so yeah i think it's either my cpu which i don't think so because i have a pretty good cpu i have a 3800x from amd which is i mean it's not the best in the world but it's pretty good or if it's the game it, that the game has a some kind of bottleneck or optimization issue and we have to wait for the uh developers to update it so we can get more fps okay let's try the low preset without uh, of course without fidelity fx which is going to ruin the game also at also at 1440p we're getting maybe okay yeah we're getting more we're getting more fps clearly now we're in the 300s as you can see if i start playing again we're jumping into the 260s which sure is better technically better than high 
settings, but still we're not getting less FPS than we got at 1080p. So there's clearly a bottleneck at 1080. Yeah, if you want to play this game, don't worry. You can buy a 1440p monitor because the difference in FPS is not going to be noticeable. You know, you can get you can get the same FPS at 1440p than the FPS you get at 1080p. I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm not going to lie. Sure, it's a new game and uh, in the future, they're gonna update it so it, it can reach more FPS. But if you're a professional gamer and you try to reach like 360 FPS for your 360 refresh rate monitor, you're gonna have a tough time with the 4070. So with any other graphics card that's below this one, you're gonna have an even tougher time to reach uh, 360 FPS. I would say that's pretty much impossible. And as we did with 1080p, let's try uh, Fidelity FX uh, performance. It looks horrible, absolutely horrible. And of course, we are getting about the same, maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit higher, but about, but about the same FPS. We're not, not going to get to the 300s, I think. We're probably gonna stick into the high 200s, as you can see. 240, 250, 240, 100. Okay, okay. Uh, pretty much the same performance. There's not a big difference between uh, no DLSS or Fidelity FX and with Fidelity FX. And last but not least, let's try 4K resolution with, of course, very high settings, the maximum preset available without Fidelity FX. And uh, we're getting 100 FPS. Now we start seeing 99% uh, GPU usage. So now we're not bottlenecked by the, by the CPU. So this is real performance. Doesn't matter how good your CPU is. You're going to get about 100 FPS on, on CS2. I was expecting a little bit more. You know, this is a competitive competitive game, it should be optimized for very high FPS. Uh, and it's not really that intensive when it comes to the graphics. It's not like Cyberpunk 2077 or, or uh, Starfield. This doesn't look insanely good. There's reflections though, there's high resolution textures, there's better lighting. So yes, it should have less FPS than the old Counter-Strike 2. But getting sometimes not even 100 FPS in 4K high settings is, I don't know, I was expecting a little bit more. That's kind of the recurrent theme of this video is that I was expecting a little bit more. Maybe it's because the game just came out, but yeah. Uh, let's try low settings. Low settings preset, I'm gonna disable Fidelity FX. And okay, okay, now it's fixed. Now it's fixed. We're getting over 200 FPS at 4K. This is actually competitively usable for someone that wants the best uh, mo most amount of SP FPS possible so you can win those matches, those competitive matches, which proves once again, we are kind of bottlenecked. As you can see, we're getting 84% GPU usage, meaning the CPU is preventing the GPU from utilizing all of its power. We're starting to see a bottleneck here. 200 FPS is pretty good. Like you're gonna have a very sweet experience at 4K with this game. Okay, now just for the fuck of it, let's enable Fidelity FX in ultra quality to see if there's some kind of little improvement to the, to the performance. And uh, turns out, Nope, it's actually a little bit worse in my opinion. We were getting 240, 50, now we're getting 200s, so it's a little bit worse. And the visuals are pretty much identical. Of course, this is in Fidelity FX Ultra Quality, so it should not be impacting. Wait a minute, who's there? Oh, you're here. Where are you, my little friend? Now you're hiding away from me? No, 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 no. There we go. Uh, it's pretty much the same visual experience and less FPS, so I don't recommend you turn it on. It's, yeah, we, we start seeing some very weird bottlenecking issues at, at uh, with with low settings and uh, fidelity effects enabled. But you know what, let's, let's just to try, see what happens, let's turn it into maximum potential FPS mode possible with fidelity effects and ultra resolution, I'm sorry, ultra performance. And uh, let me update it real quick. Yeah, same thing. We're getting clear GPU bottlenecks at 52% usage, 200 FPS. This is clearly capped uh, by the CPU. We're not gonna get it any more FPS. So yeah, don't bother turning it on in pretty much any other, any mode in Counter-Strike from 1080p to, from 1080p to, to 4K, it doesn't really make a difference if you want to get a little higher FPS at 4K, turn the settings off, but in any other resolution, it doesn't really make a difference. You cap 
at 200 FPS by the CPU. So there's, I'm sorry, yeah, by the CPU, so there's nothing you can do about it. Let's wait a couple months, see if Valve updates the, the game so it can reach a little bit more FPS. There's less bottlenecking with the CPU, but yeah, 200 ish FPS experience with Counter Strike with a 4070. I was expecting a little bit more, but anyways, if you like this graphics card and you wanna buy it, remember I have a link in the description to Amazon with the best price on all the internet for the 4070.